What is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. What are you doing, Margaret? What are you doing? You ready to get to work on the boat? Huh? All right, cheese and rice. Bright as hell out here, boys. Yeah, as y'all can tell by the title, today we are going to try to install an outboard motor on the little John boat that we bought. I didn't know if I wanted to do this or not when we originally got the boat, but after taking it out and realizing if I wanted to take this boat on anything bigger than just like the backwood ponds, we're gonna need something a little bit stronger than the old trolling motor to push us around. And luckily my dad, he actually had this outboard motor. He's had it for a few years. He bought it from a buddy. He never got around to like hooking it up or anything. Like my dad doesn't even know if it really runs. The dude he bought it from said it ran like perfectly. And like he took really good care of it. My dad had it put up in the garage. So like I'll open it up and show y'all. It is super clean on the inside. It looks really good. But again, I don't even know if this thing runs or not. That's what we're going to try to do today. It also came with like the gas tank. So I went to the store. I bought all the fittings, all of the hoses, the clamps, and everything that we'll need. Clean off the spark plugs and stuff like that and actually try to start it and see if this thing runs. So let me show y'all what we're talking about. It ain't no big old mercury or nothing, but hey, she's going to push us. What do you think? What, what are you trying to accomplish? Why do you want up there? <laughs> Boom. There she is. That is the little outboard. I think it's a four horsepower, something like that, Johnson. It's an old one, but this little thing on that little thing right there, that will push us anywhere we want to go in it. But yeah, I mean, it's small, but this going to be perfect for the little John boat. And then there's a gas tank. I put, I already went ahead and like dry fitted the fittings while we were at the store. So that one's got a new one. That one's got a new one. And then, and this bag of goodies. I don't have anything for you, woman. I, I don't, I swear I don't. Boom, fuel hose. Hopefully that's enough. Now that I'm thinking about it, I might have needed more. I got two foot. That doesn't even look like two foot. Hold on. Yeah, that doesn't look like two foot at all. It might work. It might work. We'll see. We'll see. Also got a primer bulb. And yeah, basically that's what we're going to try to do. I already went ahead and put gas in the gas tank. And I also bought, yeah, I know. I remember when this was supposed to be like the cheapest young boat build. Also got, boom, two cycle engine oil for two strokes uh, i hope never really done anything like this like hooking up outboard or messing with like mixing oil and gas it's gonna be new i know i think it takes 50 to one so we'll figure out how to do that ratio yeah there's a four right there i didn't i didn't see that earlier it is a four horsepower dude this little thing it will get it will get all right let's see here it, it might tip over i'm not for sure Dude, it's like it was made for it or something. Dude, that is like the setup right there. That is perfect, bro. Boom, she's on there. That looks really good. Let me pop this thing open and show y'all just how clean the inside of this is. Boom. Boom, boys. I mean, check it out. That thing, you could eat off this thing. You really could. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh, yeah. Not even a little drip of rust, nothing. Let's go. Like I said, my dad had this covered up with plastic on a shelf in his garage. So this thing hasn't even really been rained on. One piece layer pretty much. Oh yeah, that's gonna be perfect. That's gonna be perfect. But the main thing is, yeah. Oh yeah, that's gonna work fine. Let's go. It's Sunday and also like only 12 o'clock. So can't drink a beer, so root beer it is. That's dangerous. That is really dangerous. It says flow right there. So this end is gonna go from the tank so it flows up to the engine. Well, there we go. It. I mean, it looks right. <laughs> so down here, we got the connector to the connector of the gas tank. With the hose clamped down, leads up to another clamp that's clamped onto the flow of the primer bulb. Oh, I already primed it a little bit, okay. <laughs> and that flows up to another clamp down hose, which then leads to another clamp that's clamped up here to this connector that connects to the actual motor. And these are just little snaps, so they just hold it back, snap it right on, and there we go. I got that one from Walmart because they only had one Johnson. And then I got this one from the auto store, which it actually didn't fit the tank. I had to buy a whole new tank connector too. So yeah, there we go. Now, gotta figure out how to do the old 50 to one here. I put exactly three gallons of gas in the gas tank. So that way I'd know how much to use. So see three gallons, 50 to one, I need to use eight ounces of the oil. 
and it says right here so yeah that ain't too hard okay let's go all right here we go open up this thing Jeez, no. and i need exactly eight ounce no funnel needed boys oh god good lord jt i'm terrible i'm actually terrible no funnel needed boys no funnel needed boys we're gonna one of these This will get it. Oh yeah. Perfecto. Now you got it. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Ooh. That water was extremely brown. I know, I've seen it. Gross. Okay, what am I doing? All right, so we don't have a hose that has like the actual connector thing so I can connect to the dog ears or whatever to put on there. So I'm gonna try to start this. So I just need you to hold the water hose. There's those little things right there. No, kind of like this. Yeah. Okay. Hold it just like that. Okay. It ain't gonna be perfect, but it's gonna at least get a little bit of water in it. The water's very warm. Cause it's like connected to the hot water. Oh, okay. Sucker. Sure, let's give it a shot. <laughs> Turning the thing? She's a little wet. I, I forgot that was probably gonna happen. Thanks. <laughs> I'm damp. <laughs> yeah, she's a little wet. At least it was warm water. Yeah. Really appreciate it. Well guys, that was surprisingly easy. <laughs> All it took was connecting the gas, getting the gas mix ready, plugging it up, and what, probably 15, 20 cranks, get a little workout in. But now, literally, one crank will turn it over and get it running fine. I'm surprised, bro. I really am. My dad, I called my dad and showed him it running. He said he told me, so hey, <laughs> yeah, I listened to the man. But there we go. Now I just gotta learn lean and rich and low speed, high speed. I gotta learn how to do these right here. I don't really know. Now I'm excited to take it out, actually on like the river or something, and give it a try. Let's go. Oh, God, gotcha. you ready? Got Dylan here. It's the next day. We are ready to take the boat out on the river. Actually, I've never been on the river before. This is like the little creek to the river, actually. So we're not on the, the actual river, river, but still pretty sketchy stuff anyways. And it's super high because we just got a hell of rain like two days ago. So, but we got the old motor ready to go. Hopefully she fires up and we can get to rip and see how fast this thing goes, test it out on the water. And then of course, got some dangle sticks. We're going to give it a dangle since, since we're here. Might as well. Uh, well. But yeah, bro, I'm excited. I think this this little motor is going to push us all around this this little creek. I'm I excited. Yes. I, I, also, I have the uh, the speedometer app on my phone. We'll turn that on and we'll see like just how fast we can get it up. I don't want to push her too hard now. This is a, I think it's a 1971, so it's about 50 years old. So <laughs> don't want to push her to the limits just yet. But we are going to try to get her broken in. See how she performs out on the water. Yeah, that's enough talking. Let's get the boat in the water. Get it launched. Let's get to it. Yeah, just pull her on up, son. Dude, that's a good looking boat right there. Oh, God, yeah. Shoo. All right, well, we're in the water. Now what? <laughs> <laughs> we fish. No. <laughs> Get her primed up here. Shh. 
should lift some weights before I start doing this shit. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. That's about to go. There it is. Ooh, that's a nice little smooth hey, idle. Hey, we're scooping. Yeah, she's just idling right now. Dude, I'm, su I'm really surprised at that idle. Yeah. Bro. For a 50 year old motor. Look at that, bro. That's pretty smooth. We're like we're we're good, bro. Let's go. And that's at idle speed. Yeah, this is idle. Bro, well, it's, a, it's a little more than idle. That's about. Oh, idle. you got to run a little hot. Yeah. That's faster than your trolling motor would do yeah. already. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Already. We're gonna get lined up here, and we're gonna give it a little bit of gas. Hey, that's not bad. That's about it. That I mean, that's not terrible. That's not terrible. That's a lot more than I was expecting on it. Yeah. I mean, you're talking what a little 10 minute rides to the fishing hole? Oh yeah, easy. That's not bad. I mean, we're probably going what six, seven. I'd say may maybe eight. It's a lot faster than the trolling motor. I guarantee that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> for sure. Bro, this is smooth. Bro, it is. I like this. I ain't got steer, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we're straight. We free ride. We were good. Let's go. I'm not disappointed. This that. is perfect, bro. I'm not disappointed at all. And just like that, dude, we are out here. I don't even got words. I'm so happy with it. For a little four horsepower, 50 year old motor, we were probably going eight, nine miles an hour. I'd say so. We're on the river. You know, we ain't gonna get there freaking. We're fishing a tournament. We're going to be the last ones to the spot. But <laughs> yeah, I, we're going to get to the spot. That's all that matters. This is for a long day, cold beers. Yeah, but you know what, it's, per fishing. You know what it's perfect for? That idle speed. Turn it on, let it idle, and you just idle you down just the dam. Idle down the creek and just fish it, bro. Just troll. Oh. It's perfect for trolling. That's, That's exactly a, what that yeah. for. Dude, we're out here. Let's freaking go. Now, I'm curious. How easy is it gonna start now that it's warmed up a little bit? We started it once. So now let's see. It should be, it should just be one pull. Two? One, one good pull. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> First one don't count. Yeah. All right, let's get down there a little bit. We definitely ain't getting up on plane with this thing, but. <laughs> He's smoking a little bit, but not not as bad as I was expecting it to be. It is a two stroke, so it's gonna burn a lot of oil off, but. What do you think? Yes, sir. Let's go. I like it. Yeah, I like bro. it. It's impressed me. Yeah, this is like exactly what we needed to get, just get around yeah, on this, the. This is perfect for this boat. Yeah. You, you don't need nothing else. No. But all right, guys, we have made it out here. We're on the little creek. Like I said, this is the river. This is the Ohio River, but this is just like a little creek channel. It's called Clover Creek. A lot of people fish this. A lot of people fish this, and like I'm looking at it, it looks super juicy. The water is up pretty high. It is super muddy, which I mean, it's the river. It's gonna be muddy anyways, but even muddier since it's just, we got like, what, three inches of rain the other day? Like it poured. So water's up a little bit. I don't know how good fishing's gonna be. Like I said, I didn't bring a GoPro or anything. Like we're gonna give it a dangle. We catch something, we'll show y'all. But main thing is we got out here on the little motor. We've made it what a mile in what four minutes <laughs> like that ain't bad that ain't bad we're gonna fish a little bit because they got some nice docks and layovers right here we're gonna give it a dangle a little bit and then we're probably gonna flip this thing around and we're gonna pull out the speedometer see how fast we're actually going and give that to y'all but yeah i mean the juices are tingling i think we're gonna catch fish it looks good so let's get to it we're gonna pull up the old speedometer app we're gonna set her down right here and we're gonna turn this up, this old motor on, and we're gonna see just how fast we're going. I'm gonna <laughs> easy there. <laughs> I'm gonna go full throttle, metal to the ground, metal or pedal to the metal. Yeah, pedal to the metal. There we go. That was first crank. One pull. We're going zero. <laughs> <laughs> All right, full throttle. Four. What the hell? 
Oh, uh, there we go. Oh, okay. Hang on. Don't tell me this speedometer app needs my, my data on to even work. <laughs> <laughs> Low key, four miles an hour kind of feels right, though. <laughs> it kind of feels it right. I was expecting it. I was expecting this little motor. Yeah, it feels like eight. I was expecting this little motor go a little bit faster than it does, but anything beats me sitting up front with the foot pedal of the trolling motor between my legs and trying to use my hand to do it. That was terrible. That took me from where we went, from where we are now to the boat ramp. It would take me like an hour, easy. And I mean, y'all can't even see it. Do y'all see the bridge all the way down there? Barely. Barely, yeah, they can barely see it. That's where the boat ramp is. It would take me easy an hour and a half. All right, now mm. now it might work. Hey, look, we're already going. We're already going too. <laughs> I'm not one now. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> I tried. I'd say we're going probably five miles an hour. Four or five. Four or five. That. Uh, on the low end. It definitely feels different on the John boat. Yeah, yeah, it does. It feels like you're going a lot faster with this little boat. Yeah. But, you know, we ain't we ain't going 80 around those skaters, I'll tell you that. But we're, we'll fish a little bit. We will fish. But we're going to go down. We're going to head to the left here. This is like the creek we can see from the road. We've always seen it. Every time you drive over the bridge, you see it. And I've always wanted to fish here. Like, I've always been scared to put a boat in this river. But now that we got a boat with an actual outboard on it, I'm not that worried, and I know it works, so we're gonna send her all the way down there. I just wanna at least go under the bridge, just, I feel like it'll be cool, so, mm -hmm. yeah. We're gonna turn this bad boy on. Let's get to it. Here we go. Oh, that echoes bad. <laughs> We're under the bridge. Let's go. <laughs> well, that's terrifying. <laughs> well, that's just shape. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. Yeah, that was scary, low key. <laughs> yeah, that's sketch, bro. Imagine if a semi drive. Yeah, that's 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 that? scary. I don't know. <laughs> that didn't even make it. <laughs> Sound like a little Prius or something. But alright guys, this was a successful video, I think. We got the motor installed, piece of cake. Like literally all we did was get the gas tank set up, the gas lines, and that was pretty much it. Got her set up, got her mounted, took her out on the water. I, 10 out of 10, bro. I'm impressed with this little thing. Oh, yeah. Like, it will get us where we need to go. We'll do some fishing in this thing for sure. But yeah, I mean we're gonna we're probably gonna go down, maybe fish a little bit more, then get this thing off the water. I am really impressed with this thing. I'm super happy with it. Anything else we need to do to it? I mean, I think it's pretty decked out. Like, also, I did this earlier. Just put, like, a little piece of wood with some carpet over the seat. Feels good on your, on your tush. And looks a little bit better. It looks complete since we can't do the whole back deck that I built for it. But let us know. Anything else? Do some lights. I still want to put decals on the side for it, like some Kelly Bates decals or something. So y'all let me know down in the comments. I appreciate you guys so much for watching. JT, I'm out. Peace.